time comes when we must stand and fight against the odds. And the size of the opponent can make no difference. To be a real champion is the ultimate yeah. test. Yeah. To win is the ultimate goal. I came to crush anybody in my way. They getting hit with the chin music. Pump straight getting it. My team versus your team ain't a thing. Take it to the ring. Fight to the extreme. We can go from night till morn. Wild out, everybody get it on. I catch you out there with the Polish hammer. Throw you to my man and watch some earth slam you. We number one and we bad for your health. You got no help. We snatch it on the belt. I knock you out of this building, boy. Cause I came to crush, kill, destroy. Crush, crush, kill, kill, destroy, 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 destroy. Crush, crush, kill, kill, destroy, 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 destroy. Back down, raw. Now we fighting for to see who the champion is once more. Is it you with the signature move? Is it you with the heart that refuses to lose? Is it you for the tap out? One, two, three. Is it you trying to lay the smack down on me? I ain't having it, B. You can never be raw than me. So let's take it to the ring so everybody can see me. Crush, crush, kill, kill, destroy, 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 destroy. Crush, crush, kill, kill, destroy. Destroy, destroy, destroy. Yo, ain't nobody better, nobody brings the terror Attitude is real rude and whatever You might try, but you cannot stop me Got the eye of the tiger, but I'm ten times rocky All the fans know, even your mans know You leaving in the ambulance, you ain't got a chance, yo I'm coming at you like a pit bull I'm coming at you like a soldier out the mud with a clipboard It's a million different ways I can get you We can fair fight or a chair might hit you I'm a true life warrior. I might tell my team, chill, I'll take all of you. What you don't know, I live for this. You don't know all the work I Yo guys, what's up? It's your boy the game MLL doing the Intercontinental Royal Rumble today. I'm gonna be showing you guys what the titles look like. And then after the match, we're gonna let the winner of the rumble choose which belt gets used on the show. So I think that's how we're gonna officially do it today. Hope you guys are doing well. We have some qualifying matches for the Intercontinental Royal Rumble. Now there is going to be people on here that have possibly only been featured once or have not even made their debut or haven't picked up a win in quite a while. They have to earn their way into the Rumble. Although there's a few other people I'm not going to name exactly who. You guys will just have to wait till the end of the show to find out if you got selected. But there's also people that have already qualified that have been on fire or they've had a few wins here and there. They're automatically entered. If you're already a champion, you are not eligible to participate in the Intercontinental Royal Rumble. That means there will be no Nexus in the Rumble and there will also be no two cool skeletons either way. And also Bucky is banned from the Rumble because he has a title opportunity against two cool skeletons at TakeOver. Whew. All right, so we got all that off, out the way. So we're going to be starting things out with Campy versus Lucky T versus SRG1X. All right. What's up? Welcome to my world. How's it going, dude? We got Patrick Martinez. How are you, man? We got Bucky501. We got Revenant Elementor. What's up, guys? Nancy Bright is back we have bryson we have mad gamer 0428 magnum optimus entertainment yo he's one of my co-streamers don't forget to subscribe to magnum we have ultra gamer 20 hunter kovacs oh my god there's so many people just pouring in here i can't keep up with everybody infinity force professor rocket how are you how is everybody today mason What's up, Chief Tank? How's it going, man? Yo, Chief Tank, I played uh, played some Xbox with him yesterday when I was working on the Twisted Ones. He got to see them early for Xbox, and so did Captain Pepsi. Shout out to those guys. Shout out to you FNAF bros for playing against me a few minutes ago before the show. I was looking for something to do, so that was good timing on your behalf. Yo, somebody was playing as a Fortnite character, and I, I totally made them rage quit, and I felt so happy. <laughs> Just because it was, a, it was a Fortnite character. And he was all stoked on it, too. He's like, oh my god, I made this Fortnite character! Ah! You know, and then, like, I drained his reversals in, like, 30 seconds, and then I kept... Well, I, I did two power bombs into the stairs, and then he disconnected, so... 
<laughs> oh, man, that was fun. All right. Yeah, guys, if you haven't already, don't forget to RKO that like button, spike tombstone that thing out of nowhere. If you haven't already. Let's see if we can get this video to 50 likes easily. And we'll try to we'll try to edge our way towards 100. I think we could probably cop up about 20 likes right out of the gate. You guys are great for that. Thank you very much, by the way. It's much appreciated. Oh, heck no. We're not getting flagged by ads. Hold on a second. I'm going to pop into the chat so that I can monitor it a little more closely and see how we're doing on the uh, productivity. Yeah, we got 25 likes already. You guys are killing it. It's Twisted Ones on Xbox. Guys, if you want updates, follow me on social media. I am more than happy to update you guys on social media. I also did a post in my Communities tab. That's also a great place to check and see when there's updates for the characters. Now, check this out. I asked you guys to help me out by helping me with the entrances. Nobody did it on Xbox, so I got to do it all myself. It's going to be tomorrow night, 100% guaranteed. Um, they're not going to have the exact same movesets as they do on PlayStation, and I'll tell you why. I have DLC on PlayStation, so there's a few moves that are locked and not selectable on Xbox for me, because I'm not going to pay to unlock everything in the game twice. That's just stupid. And so they're going to be getting a little bit of a nerfed moveset, but the bonus side is they have no DLC. That means everybody can download them. So on uh, PlayStation, some of them did have DLC, and I may have angered a few people. And I apologize for that. My solution is for you to get up off your butt. Go ask your parents if there's any chores you can do. Earn yourself 10 bucks. Go buy the DLC. It's not my problem. Okay. Anyways, let's get started. Campy gets taken down. And this is a newcomer. His name is Lucky T. I just downloaded him. If you guys want to share a character for Fan XT, I'm trying to build the Xbox One roster. So if you guys have been holding off because you're worried that uh, I wouldn't be able to get your guy, if you upload him with no DLC and no um, VCs or whatever, uh, then you guys can put a character on Fan XT on Xbox. That's a work in progress, so. Oh, no, you're cool, King Pat. There's no problem. Oh, it gets launched into the ring post. Pizza, you're part of the main event. I'm not going to be telling everybody, but I don't want to be badgered with the same question throughout the entire show. So just to avoid that, you are part of the rumble. Okay? All right. I'm not going to be answering any more questions about if you have matches for the rest of the show. Guys, if people are bugging me about that, don't jump down their throats, but can you just tell people uh, that I'm not going to be announcing matches? I would appreciate it if the moderators at least could help me out in that department. Oh, he gets caught with a code breaker. And this is a non-elimination match, meaning one fall to the finish. The first person to score the pinfall is going to be advancing into the Intercontinental Royal Rumble. And SRG1X has paved his way to, towards success. He's going to be advancing, so I'm going to be circling him. He is a winner, winner, chicken dinner. And let's take a look at some of those replays. There's the DDT. And the code breaker. I think that was the prelude there, the code breaker. He scored with the code breaker. Turns around, runs right into SRG1X. Scores with the big time DDT. And that's a wrap. This is on PlayStation, but I'm also going to start hosting this on Xbox One. I have a completely booked card. I will not be uh, answering requests to have a match. I apologize. I already have a show lined up for you guys. Um, if I need people for a match, I will ask. Okay. So, the next match is going to be DRH Gaming 457, Goat, 
who got a reboot because his weight class was too heavy. Jamie, who also got a, a reboot because his weight class was too heavy. And Warren Stone from Power Player, a.k.a. Power Player 007. All right, so let's go to that match. That's a fatal four-way, I believe. Let me just count because I already forgot one, two, three. It looks like only three. One, two. Yes, I have everybody numbered. No, it's four. Okay. All right. Let's go to Extreme Rules. That's what all these matches are going to be. It's going to be one fall to a finish. Magnum, you're taking off. Have a good day, man. Thanks for being here. Don't forget to smash that like. All right. Ooh, coming in at an 84. I think that may have been a glitch from when I downloaded his character, which is a very common glitch. The goat who got nerfed. Let's have him wear the horse mask. Why not? He made it. He may, you might want to use it once in a while, I guess, right? Jamie, you're, you're going in. Ooh, I like that costume a lot better. There he kind of looks like... Like a cop or something. But here, looks like an assassin. I like that. That's badass. Let's go to Warren Stone. Power player. All right. Let's just say that if you guys are here throughout the show your chances of being in the rumble will increase i i can't guarantee everybody's slot i don't know who i have cut from the roster and who's still on here so let's turn false count anywhere on health is going to be low everybody starts with one finisher sudden death rules to qualify for the intercontinental royal rumble laura burt okay Thanks for being here. Thanks for popping in. Dr. Creepy Pasta, what's up, dude? <laughs> Pizza films. Yo, that could turn around, man. You never know. You never know. Yeah, it's not like officially sudden death, but meaning it's easy to get pinned. Everybody has a finishing move. That's essentially what I mean by sudden death. So how is everybody doing in the chat? Everybody having a good day? Anybody have any success they want to share? That's right, guys. I did hit 500 subs on the Rated ML Double. I did updates about the Twisted Ones. Uh, they are available right now on PlayStation. They're going to be available tomorrow on Xbox One. I, man, that took a lot of work, too. I can't believe I just burned through four characters in one day. I can't believe I got that done in one day. This is a Fatal 4-Way match. Yo, Shades of Diamond, Dallas Page. That's cool. Eh, just meaning a positive story to share with the group. Maybe not necessarily success. No eliminations, guys. Sudden death means one fall to a finish. Oh, I know, right? Vader. That's That's a sad story. I liked Vader when I was a kid. All right. Fan of DDP. Yo, unless you named your guy Aaron17988, I don't know who mine is. Can you be a little more specific, man? Can you type the name of your character? That kind of helped me answer your question a little bit better. <laughs> With the backpack. <laughs> Yo, Henry Horseman, look out, man. This guy might be the real deal right here. You're looking at the real deal now. Woo! 
<laughs> Yo, that was a little clip off of D'Lo Brown's music. I don't know if you guys remember D'Lo Brown. But... He also had a uh, cameo in Aces and Eights at the end there. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. All right. 33 likes. Yo, let's see if we can get this thing to 50 and then some. Let's do it. Let me just rephrase that. Bucky D'Lo Brown was not that cool. He was subpar at best. <laughs> just because, yeah, I don't know. I just say random wrestling things just because I... Hmm. Let me think of a prime example of somebody that I would just randomly quote that I don't like. Um... I don't know, but you know, you get it. It's wrestling. That's all it is. <laughs> What's up, Harley Burrow? How's it going? All right, he's got generic entrance. Mana machna sotem libe. I don't know what the hell Undertaker says, but he's coming out to the Ministry Takers music, so that's cool. That's probably my favorite Undertaker song, actually. <laughs> the horse <laughs> is feeling the power of the Ultimate Warrior. How many people are on the roster? You know, the roster is actually full. I'm actually having to delete people, like, every show. It sucks. I'm gonna have to, like, eventually close the gates. And then we're gonna have matches where, like, your career is on the line. <gasps> but that doesn't mean you're banned from the show forever. It just means you'd have to... re-enter. I'm not really sure. So think of how, how full the custom roster list. I think that's about 50? Could be wrong. Maybe, maybe more. Shout out to Power Player, who is also a YouTuber. He's got a big following in soccer, and he also had a pretty big following in WWE since YouTube did its Adpocalypse update last year. I noticed his numbers on WWE videos has fallen, but it could also be because he was absent. I'm not really sure, but. I'd like to see his numbers on, w on WWE videos and soccer go up, so if you haven't subscribed to Power Player, don't forget to subscribe to him. Oh! The Unsaddler. And it could be a sad day if he gets pinned that quickly. Uh-oh. Eh, it's always good to get new subscribers. Yo, what's up, Ronnie? All right, see you later, bud. Uh-oh. We got a pinfall attempt here. Nobody nobody there to make the count. Oh! He just barely made the save, but I think he still would have kicked out. Luthez Press from DRH Gaming. Oh, cross body over the top ropes. It looks like Jamie has been busted open on the outside. We have a very precarious situation, meaning that they are not close enough to make the save, so it's going to come down to who hits the next finishing move. Oh, I thought that was it. Oh, the horse with the sister Abigail's kiss. Is that going to be it for GOAT? Did they just switch off? Are these two working together? Uh-oh. One. Oh. <laughs> Sammy Talks YouTube. What's up, dude? No, not into the stairs. Not like this. Oh. Oh. Can slam face first into the side of the steps. Sister Abigail's kiss. 
And we have an electric chair drop in the in the rampway. Oh yeah, this is my fan XT arena. Oh, I made it for the show. He gets caught with a Samoan neckbreaker. Shades of Twisted Wolf. He goes for the cover. The referee out of place. Oh, and DRH Gaming makes a save, but just barely. WWE crazy. What's up, dude? And Jamie pouring on the boots here. Yeah, I should make one, Bucky. That's a good idea. Oh, Puppet Buster. It's got him in the fireman's carry position. Oh, power player with the face breaker. One, two. Oh, I thought power player had that. I thought that was a wrap. All right, Chief Tank, thanks for popping in, bud. Yo, we got donations. Let me, uh, let me pull out my phone so I can give a proper shout-out to people that support my content here. You might hear me talking in the background. Oh, okay, just kidding. I had it muted. Caden Carlton. Yo, thanks for subscribing, dude. Thanks for being here. If you guys want to, sub to Caden Carlton. He just... Uh, Scratch my back with the donation. I'm going to scratch his back. Tell you guys to go subscribe to him. Oh. Yeah, Pizza Films. You saw me in the comment section. Remember I made that comment about you crying marinara sauce. <laughs> and then you replied to it. So I know that you know that I know. Did you know? Oh, they have five on the floor. Jamie goes to the cover. One. And, shoot, I forgot his name already. Let me look on the paper. Yeah, DRH Gaming making the save there. <laughs> Nancy. <laughs> Goes to the cover. The goat trying to steal this thing. These guys have that big elbow drop. It's just funny because it looks like they're going to jump over their opponent. Yeah, I actually put a poll on my uh, on my page. I was going to defend the title, but you guys voted for Scrap Baby instead of Michael. That just sounds very painful, Golden Slayer. I'm not going to say why. <laughs> Zio the Raptor King. Yeah, that's a good point, man. We're almost 250 likes. Thank you, guys. One, two, three, and the goat. He stole it. I almost kind of forgot what was going on in the ramp there. Under the radar, the goat earns a spot in the Intercontinental Royal Rumble, which will be the main event of the show. The winner gets to pick their Intercontinental Championship. And it'll be on the show as a staple. Also, guys, the IC title is going to be defended live almost always. Very rarely will it have pay-per-view appearance because pay-per-views are few and far between the Friday Night Freddy's pay-per-view events. I thought that was it right there, honestly, when Jamie hit the neck breaker. But we send it to each other and then we delete it. That's how. Dugout. I don't know. Can you be a little more specific? So the next match, let me count how many people are in there. I think it's six. Let's 
Okay, so the next match is going to be Dark Tiger Hero versus Dead Savage versus Delicate Sloth versus I'm Sane Dylan versus Josh Margin. Josh 3J Margin. I think that's how you say that. And Luke Wolf. It's going to be a six man match. Still a little taste of the rumble. Yo. Um, it sounds like my kids are waking up. You might hear some some calamity and some banter here in the background as they are getting ready to head out for the day. They were already supposed to be gone, but they hung out and took a nap, which is cool with me. Oh, I like that. That's a cool costume. Where's that been hiding? Dead Savage. Just downloaded that guy today. <laughs> he has a boss mode. I'm going to keep this just because the arms are silly. Um, Josh. This one makes him stand out a little bit. We're going to put that on. I don't like everybody looking exactly the same because then I start calling people the wrong name. Well, this guy has two very distinct costumes. Oh, and then I'm saying Dylan. This actually was created by PPF Gamer, and it was for one of his fans. And he tagged, uh, you know, he tagged it so that you guys would see see this character on my show. Yeah, we got a donation. I'm going to go give a shout out real quick in the chat here. <laughs> Fire genius bet uh, that the goat wasn't going to win, I guess, or something like that. I'm not sure. But hey, man, thanks for the donation. Much appreciated, Fire genius. Hope you're doing well. And uh, I'm not doing this because I just got a donation, but because he donated, I am going to reveal to you guys that he was one of the people I chose to be in the Rumble. It's already written down. It's already predetermined who is going to be in it. Except for these last few slots. So. There you go. Yeah, we got 42 peeps. I think we can spike this video to 50 likes. If you haven't already, don't forget to spike Tombstone that like button. Hey, kiddo. I'm sleeping. <laughs> Aw. Yeah, I'm, I'm like Heath Slater. <laughs> I got kids. <laughs> Yo, I'll be right back. I will be back in time for the match to start, though. Okay, guys? All right. I'm sure you guys understand. I'll be right back.
All right, guys. Sorry about all that. Oh, I lost a couple people. Dang it. That's all right. We'll get him back. Tiger for the win. Let's see. Hey, yo, Nancy. Uh, this isn't like a sexual content video. Please keep this one PG. Yo, what's up, Kane Alvarez? How's it going, dude? Or, excuse me, Ken, not Kane. I'm, like, playing too much wrestling here. I got Kane on the brain. Oh, dang, he's got a baseball bat. Yo, he looks like a superhero. <laughs> yeah. 50 likes. 50 likes and you guys will be my kids. Sorry about that, guys. Just trying to get everything sorted out. Trying to get people out the door here. <laughs> Game is there a wild Pikachu in the chat? Run. No. <laughs> here comes the sloth. This is such a random character. Yo, get some pants on, Sloth. All right, he's here. Animal cruelty. Josh, three J margin. Sonic use. Oh, I thought it said Sonic use. It said Sonic sloth. No, the GOAT won the last match. Oh, somebody's got Alistair Black's entrance. Yo, what's up, Jaden? How's it going, dude? Yo, can you quit calling me Mill, please? snap Luke Wolf yeah I remember you Jaden it's been a minute though Go, go, go. 
Luke Wolf, everybody. Oh, that's how he looks when he wrestles? I am lost here. All right, and this character was made by PPF Gamer for, I'm saying Dylan. Oh yeah, he's here in the chat now too. What's up, dude? Good timing. Whoever wins this match will advance to the Intercontinental Royal Rumble. Hold on, guys. Be right back. done with the interruptions, I promise. Alright, he gets dumped on his neck. Yo, I'm gonna have a hard time calling the action a little bit here because I don't know the names of most of these characters like 100%. Man, whoo, sneezed. It's Flaming Desk! No, I'm just kidding. What's up, man? How are you? Almost dad is back. Ah, uh, doing alright, man. How are you? Oh, wait. No, you already said that. I don't listen to KISS. I mean, they have a couple good hits. I mean... What? Robin Blue, what's up? Yo, Tammy Bivens, welcome back. I seen you earlier in the comments. I was just kind of distracted doing my intro. Harley Allen, oh, okay. Welcome back. It looks like Wolf might be eliminated by I'm Saint Dylan. shots to the face oh he gets choke slammed out of the ring the sloth has been eliminated that's right shadow hunter that's right fire genius you guys tell him <laughs> Uh-oh. It's getting hung up, but he's able to escape. Oh, we had another elimination. I just did one yesterday. I was making the twisted ones. It's planted right into the canvas. Dark Tiger Hero. Dead Savage Reeling. And Wolf with the big power slam.
And now he's pouring on the punishment. There he goes. Is he doing the people's elbow? No, it's not. It's Ultimate Warrior Splash. Sorry, guys. Lone Wolf texted me there. I like, looked away for a second. I saw only the aftermath there. Eva Marie sucks. over the top we're down to three he sneaks in it looked like he was trying to finish off dark tiger hero but wolf what's up with these animal combinations working together the wolf and the tiger detouring their uh, problems for now oh that's right I'm saying Dylan was the one who got eliminated oh he gets dumped outside the ring And Dark Tiger Hero is going to be advancing into the Intercontinental Royal Rumble. Alright, so those matches have been concluded. So those are the three slots that are open. I'm going to go show you guys the titles that I chose. There's two that I've narrowed it down to. These two were my favorite community titles. You guys may have seen them in the last live stream where I was looking at the titles. So uh, let's go head over there and peek. And we'll see what's up. Actually, it'd be it'd be quicker if I just went like this. That way, I don't have to see an edited version of the titles. Okay, so these two championships right here, the blue ones, the Fan XT Championship, which is not the Fan XT Championship, that's just what they named it, and the Fan International Championship. These two are going to one of these two are going to be the next Intercontinental Championship. So if you're here and you win the title, you will get to pick which one that is. If you win the title and you're not here, I'm going to pick which title it is. Or maybe I'll have the fans pick, like, together. I'm not sure. All right. But that's what they look like, in case you're wondering. So, yeah. All right. Infinity. What's up, dude? Yo, guys, I really don't like Fortnite. Can we get off the topic of Fortnite? Like, I don't come here to talk about Fortnite. I hate Fortnite. Don't do this to me. All right, so the next match is going to be Reed, the actual king, making his repackaged debut versus Radical Larry. This is going to be a tables match. Again, this is going to be a qual. Well, this will be another qualifying match. We'll see if one of these guys can pull out a win. Let's do this. How many characters are automatically in the rumble? Um, about 20 plus. I don't have an exact number. I could sit here and count them, I guess, but... <coughs> Yeah. 
You know what, man? That used to happen to me in all the N60 rumbles, too. But... Forty-eight likes, guys. If you haven't already, drop a like. Let's get this thing to fifty likes at least live. Let's do it. Radical Larry is the partner of Fun Time Killing Time. In case you guys missed that. Cheap face. Uh, I don't think I downloaded anybody new named Sheepface. And I just looked at stuff before I went live. So make sure you guys spelled your hashtag correctly. Make sure you didn't upload using only the hashtag FanXT. Because I don't check that one that often. The way you get on the show is by uploading a character using the hashtag the game space MLL. So if you didn't use that and you're not on PlayStation, he will not be debuting today. Alright, let's let's do a invisible poll just by a show of comments here. Who do you think is gonna win, guys? Is it gonna be Reed the King or is it gonna be Larry? Radical Larry. Put in King or Larry to kind of cast your vote, and then I will go back and tabulate them. Only comment once if you're gonna do it though, because I don't want the I don't want it to be skewed. I'm gonna disappear into the comment section here. And I'm going to start counting what you guys think is going to happen here. Oh, snap. Yo, he's got on Vader's gear. <laughs> Larry King. This is the Larry King live show. We have Radical Larry versus King Reed. <laughs> uh, two for the king. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, I think unanimously uh, over six votes for Radical Larry. We'll see if that pans out. Yeah, we just hit 50 likes. Boop, 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 boop. That's what's up, guys. Thank you. Fat Freddy French fries. What? 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 We are your Kida. Oh, he hit the blockbuster while he's tangled up in the ropes. Pickle Rick! You guys are killing it today, man. We almost got 50 people still. We're almost an hour into the show. You guys are doing great. Would you pat the fat cat on the flat mat? Why not? Only if he was selling seashells by the seashore. Who wants to walk with the money makers? Somewhere Scrooge McDuck stood up. <laughs> Ooh, who's hitting me up on Twitter? 
Shout out to Mobman2010 who's not able to comment because he's watching on PS4. Oh, there's a power bomb. You guys did not see that come and read the actual King advancing into the Fan XT Intercontinental Royal Rumble. Alright, the next match is going to be Spring Fox versus Puppet Killer. That is it for the qualifying matches, by the way. These other matches are just for fun. You guys are going to have to wait and see who I selected to be in the Rumble. Alright, so let's go on to that. Let's do, let's do Hell in a Cell. Let's do Hell in a Cell. Do Spring Fox EXE. Yeah, he's got the chain on the hand. I like that. Let's do that one. And let's do the Puppet Killer. I think these two have some of the coolest gimmick going for them as far as like character design goes. That's why I'm going to throw them together in a match. Yo, Dylan, be nice to read, man. He's not doing anything. Alright, so... Post-match beatdown is off. Health is going to be set to low because I want to get as many matches on the show today as possible. Sudden death style. Let's see, look, what time is it right now? In about 20 minutes, we're going to start the rumble. So I hope you guys are excited for that. That's going to be the main event of the show and the event that the... Show ends early. I might play a match against a fan or something at the end. We'll see what we have time for. Oh, actually, wait. Scratch that idea. I can't actually do that because this is my second account. I'm not on my regular account. This is my business account. So, unfortunately, that is actually not going to happen. Sorry about that. Yeah, that means I that's that's my polite way of saying don't don't send friend requests to this name because I'm not gonna accept them. So Do we still get a contract? <laughs> what, what 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 nobody signed nothing. This ain't this ain't an official thing. Yeah, if you guys didn't win your qualifying matches though, you're not gonna be in the rumble today. So that's what qualifying means. All right, I want to see you guys light the comments up another time. Who is going to win this thing? Is it going to be Puppet Killer? Is it going to be Spring Fox EXE? Let me know in the comment section right now who you think is going to win. Yo, is he gonna make it all the way down to the ring before we, before we see him? Oh, he's still in the ramp. Oh, he's got the Goldberg thing. Okay, no wonder it took forever. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't like uh, you get fired if you lose. It just means you won't be in the main event for the Intercontinental Championship. That's all.
All right, Spring Fox EXE. He's here. He's ready to fight. Falcon Punch! All right, I just wanted to say that because somebody typed it. He stepped away, so it's kind of hard to say what you missed. We did some qualifying matches for the Intercontinental Royal Rumble, and then now we're switching over to matches just for fun. We got maybe time for one or two more matches before we start the main event. Oh, wait. Oh, I read the clock wrong. I have to be somewhere at 5 o'clock, guys. This, uh, this match is going to be the last match before the Rumble. That's right. Yeah, it's already 4 o'clock and I have to be somewhere at 5. Dang it. Okay. Well, I guess that settles that, guys. We're going to be doing the main event after this. Oh, face first. It's bit with an elbow to the skull. Yeah, I'm sorry, Bucky. I was actually going to book you in another match, man. But, uh, shoot. I think I, would think I was going to be, like, starting the show a little bit sooner than I did. So, uh, actually, um, hmm. Well, we'll see how quick this match ends here, guys. Big chop to the calf. I heard that. Yeah, I heard the mat go for three. I think that what you heard was him standing up. It was just a bad sound effect. Played the wrong one. I don't even know what SSB stands for, honestly. Oh, big clothesline. Oh, big back body drop from Puppet Killer. Spring Fox EXE. Single leg takedown. And these guys are just throwing all their reversals at each other. Who's going to get momentum? Something's got to give. Oh, clothesline from hell from Spring Fox. Goes to the cover. Got him hooked up. Super power bomb. Center of the ring. Nowhere to go. Turns him into the Boston Crab. Is that going to be enough? E no. Spring Fox with the wind up into the regal cutter. Clothesline. Axe handle smash into a power slam. Boom. I think Spring Fox might have this in the bag here. Clothesline from hell. Puppet Killer with the counter. Back body drop. 
Oh, I might be wrong. Puppet Killer trying to turn things around here. Is this going to be enough? And a dream. Shades of Nightmare. One, two, three. No. I thought that was for sure going to be a three. There he goes. Oh, knee strike to the back. Close line from hell again. Is that his signature move? I'm not really sure what his finishing and signature moves are. Oh, he's going for the arm breaker. Oh, and he's trying to rip the arm out of the socket of the puppet killer. Yeah, I'm pretty sure last year I already told you guys that there is no team called Weapon X because there's already a team called Bacon X, and I asked you guys to pick a different name. And I don't think McKen has a character. Could be wrong. Oh, he plants him face first. I think that is his finishing move, though. Dark Matter. Oh! Spring Fox EXE for the win. Yeah, there's a stipulation for the last time somebody was champion said they could not compete against the tag team champions anymore, so they even kind of put on the back burner. Yeah, no, I already told you, man, I don't have time to make guys right now, so it's going to be a while if you guys want me to make one, and I am not just making them to make one. I'm only making people to donate, so... Pretty much. Pretty much Cell was not in effect. And people wonder why I play my matches when I do my shows, man. That's exactly why right there. I have a perfectly good Hell in a Cell. Did not even get used once in the entire match. Um, okay. Let's, uh, let's push the rumble to now. Or else we might not have time to do it. Okay. Let me see. Oh, custom. That might help. Young Samurai. And Golden Slayer. Those guys are going in for sure. Just had to write down some things. All right. So you guys are going to be seeing who I selected might see me bouncing around trying to find people oh there he is it's like where is he I know he's in here somewhere all right so let's enter the people that won their qualifying matches goat is going in dark tiger hero is going in And who else? Reed the King is going in. And SRG1X is also going in. And you know what? Because Spring Fox just won. Let's just throw him in there. Why not? Okay. All right. That's it for that. Now I'm going to start putting in the people that uh, I want to see in this thing. Oh, wait. 
no nexus. That was one of the rules. No champions that are already a champion. Oh wait, Color Raccoon, you're up for a title shot. You can't be in. Same thing with Seal Boy, so... Talk to Pringles. DJ Funky. Derpy Squid. We only got four more slots and I've only gone through half the roster. This is not good. Um, okay. So now I really gotta be careful who I'm picking here. Fire Genius. Man, there's so many people that I want to put in here. It's just no room. Wait a second. Hold up, hold up. Okay, hold up. God, there's so many people that I want to put in here that I just don't have room to put in here. I'm going to run out of time sitting here trying to figure out. I think we're putting in pizza. I'm sorry, 20. This is just the first time, guys. There's going to be more intercontinental opportunities in the near future, okay? So don't be discouraged if you weren't picked for today. This is just the first. Let me cut this down to 60 seconds. Oh, wait. That will guaranteeably take a half an hour because... Hold on a minute. Uh, back. Got it. It's be every 30 seconds. Somebody's coming in. This is how it has to be. Everybody's getting finishers when they come in. Go medium health. Everybody's got finishers. Okay. All right. I'm sorry, guys. If I was trying to do a 50-man rumble, if that was a possibility on this game, I would totally do it. I would totally do it. But I can't. I apologize. I would love to. But they're, all the slots are full. It doesn't work like that. Nightmare Queen is Nightmare Queen. You can root for Nightmare Queen all you want. But that doesn't mean it's you. <clears throat> okay. I know, right? I'm sitting here mashing start. When the hell is JoJo going to get out of the way? All right, let's see who drew number one. It's the Bomb King. The unlucky number one. Will he pull off a Shawn Michaels or a Ric Flair and go the distance? Because it's a video game, I'm going to guess probably not. But anything can actually happen here. I've seen it happen. Especially since this is a 30-second entrant. Rumble.
Um, I don't know if I'm going to allow teams of three to keep pairing up, guys. I think I'm only accepting teams of two at the moment. At my place right now, it's 417. I need to be out the door in probably about 40 minutes. And here comes SRG1X. Yeah, we got to get this guy an entrance. I don't know why. I think I made one for him and it just didn't save. Sorry about that. Well, he drew number one. Oh, no. The first thing he does is a power bomb out to the... Oh, my God. Oh. Dirty Bomb King. Wow. All right, here comes Dark Tiger Hero. It's one of the qualifiers who won earlier. Boom, shot to the sternum. Oh! Oh no, Dark Tiger Hero, he's got the Tiger Claw cinched onto Bomb King. Bomb King going outside the ring, oh my god! He hits the floor. Here comes the goat. Whoa, he just kept up like Shawn Michaels. <laughs> what the heck is the heck's going on here? Oh, he gets dumped with the back body drop. All right, for the first time, we're going to have three people occupying the ring. Here comes Corrupted Ultra Gamer, part of the Mob Skills Mafia. That's okay if you guys are kids, so I don't mind. Oh, wait a second, Ultra Gamer, he was celebrating a little bit too soon. Goat, not taking too kindly to it. the counter oh he missed the drop kick here comes captain high C That's a dang sheep. I know. I know. I didn't say he was an actual goat. That's just what he wanted to name his character. Yo, how are you going to be doing your nails with lipstick? That don't even make sense. <laughs> Here comes Chargy. Charge up Jokery. Yo, what's up, Nightmare Queen? How's it going? Oh, there goes Captain I see. Dark Tiger Hero. Two eliminations almost simultaneously. The ring is emptying out quickly. Ultra Gamer looking to eliminate Goat. Did you see that, dude? What's with the invisible kip-ups over there? Charging now, taking ultra. Oh, look, there's he's dabbing on them. <laughs> Charging Valerio, taking over.
The reverse dab. Yo, I'm gonna call that the reverse dab. Oh, wait a second. Oh, I don't think he took too kindly to the reverse dab. He eliminates his friend, Chargy. He goes spilling over the top. Yo, Captain Fonta, speaking of, uh, speaking of N60 fans, here comes Reed the Actual King. Remember, guys, I am not playing this match. That means one of you guys is randomly going to win the Intercontinental Championship here. Yo, we're almost to 2,000 comments, guys. Thank you. I see, though, he blocks the attempted snap near. The traveling gaming frog. What's up, dude? Thanks for thanks for landing on my pad over here. Hope you're having a good day. Anti-gaming yet? No, I don't. I don't know who that is. Oh, here's Bacon Fan. Hickory has made his way into the ring. Hickory is cooking. He hits him with the belly-to-belly -belly suplex. Turns his attention towards Reed the King. Sidesteps the super kick. Here comes his tag team partner from Bacon X. Here comes Applewood, a.k.a. the Bacon Bro. Oh, he catches him with a short arm clothesline. Bacon X has taken over the Royal Rumble. Oh, there's an elimination from the Bacon Bro. He sends Captain Fonta washing over the top ropes. PK Vandy is making his way to the ring. And there goes Chris Valerio, courtesy of PK Vandy. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. He did say he looked like a parakeet. <laughs> oh, man. I remember that. That's funny. Oh, there. No, oh, the bacon. The bacon betrayal. The bacon betrayal. He throws his own partner out of the rumble, guys. It is everybody for themselves. Anything can happen here. You will see strange alliances, friends turning on each other, all for a chance to be the Intercontinental Champion. And coming in at number 15 at the halfway mark, here comes Remnant Elementor. I made this version of him that is featured on the N60 channel. If you'd like to download him, use the hashtag N60Sean. Oh! Drops the elbow. Here comes Vincent Skellington, part of the Arctic Forest, who got added to the match. Oh, I forgot he got added to the match. He's not even supposed to be in here, technically. Whoops. <laughs> oh, well. Well, if he wins this thing, that's my fault, guys. If he wins this thing, he's not going to be in the tag team match. Oh, 
and here comes Spring Fox. Yo, Bacon, Bacon Bro got eliminated. <clears throat> oh, there goes Vincent Skeleton. I guess the integrity of the match is still intact. All right. Frosty BLZ, that's Captain Dew's character, but I told him I wasn't going to allow any more Captain characters, so that was the character he made. Here comes Main Master. Oh, and he throws out its Wolfie. I'm an Elementor with an elimination. And he clotheslines two people at the same time, taking down Spring Fox and Raid the King. I'll read the king with the quick escape. He turns it into a reverse DDT. Oh, wait a second. Spring Fox is set up. Oh, he counters. He ducks the, the sweeping kick, but he comes back with a spinning heel kick. Oh, the meme KO out of nowhere. Looks like everybody is trying to get their bearings, trying to get their wits about him. Wait a second, Spring Fox. EXE trying to go for an elimination here. Remnant Elementor. Oh, there goes Reed the King. He goes over the top ropes. The King has been dethroned. Remnant with the big clothesline. Oh, Exploder T-Bone Suplex. Yo, instead of, instead of the meme cutter, we should call it the meme cropper. PK Vandy, oh, wait a second, he tried to eliminate Spring Fox. He turned around and threw him out over the top rope. Consequently, he got eliminated himself. Fire genius now. And here comes... Jonathan Lopez, the top patron donator on this channel. Big supporter of this channel. Fire Genius squaring off with Remnant Elementor. Oh wait, Remnant with the elimination. He throws out the Mean King, Remnant cleaning house. Remnant of old returning, bringing his fire and tenacity into this match. Here comes Hunter Kovacs. Immediately goes right for fire, genius. Oh, and he gets knocked off his feet by fire, genius. And a, another elimination. It looks like Spring Fox EXE has been taken out by Remnant Elementor. He escapes. Oh, into his sleeping. Looked like modified version of the edge of Matic. Oh, he plucked him out of the sky with that power slam. Remnant almost got eliminated, but he's able to counter last second. Here comes Pizza EXE. Yo, we got five people here, guys. Don't forget to smash that like button. Somebody is taking home the gold, and they will get to pick which championship they want if they are present. Fire Genius with the elimination. He burns Remnant Elementor to the ground. Oh, he ran up the top ropes. He was sizing up Pizza EXE. He gets met with a belly-to-belly -belly suplex from the top ropes. Fire Genius taking it to the next level here. Dr. Grim Ninja. You know what? Honestly, man, I think I was supposed to pick FNAF Bros. And I accidentally picked him. Whoops. Oh. He's trying to skin the cat. Oh, he gets knocked out of the ring by Grim Ninja. Jonathan Lopez with the bridging suplex. Here comes DJ Funky.
Yeah, he got hit b below the notification bell. <laughs> DJ Funky. Oh, wait a second. There goes Jonathan Lopez. Grim. What if Grim takes this thing? Still have about six more characters to go, approximately. I kind of lost count here. Oh, and there goes Hunter Kovacs. He goes spilling over the top ropes. In the ring, we have Pizza EXE. We have Dr. Pringles. We have DJ Funky and Dr. Grim Ninja. Oh, and there goes Pizza EXE. I guess we won't be having any pizza flavored Pringles anytime soon. Over the top ropes and out onto the floor. DJ Funky. Oh, wait a second. DJ Funky. No. Dr. Grimm is just cleaning house here. Is this going to be the era of Dr. Grimm Ninja? Starting to look that way. Oh, Claymore kick. Right to the chops. There's a left cross. Peggy and Squiddy's character, the Dark Demon. Starting to take control of the match here. Yo, Frosty, you need to follow people on Twitter so you can get updates, man. That way you're in the know. He already said today on Twitter that he was trying to get his video up and posted and his computer fritzed out on him. Oh, and Dr. Grimm has been eliminated. Here comes the glitch. The heel glitch. Oh, I thought Piggy and Squiddy was out of here, but his character, the Dark Demon, hangs on. What what'd you name your character skills? Yeah, you guys can make Twitter accounts that are, like, protected if you're minors. I don't know if you guys knew that or not, but you guys can have protected accounts. Have an adult set one up for you. Oh, the Golden Slayer. He's made it into the ring. He's got Piggy and Squiddy's character, the Dark Demon. He gets hoisted over with an attitude adjustment all the way to the floor. Golden Slayer making his presence known here. Here comes the young samurai. One of these characters may be bringing home the Fan XT Intercontinental Championship. We still have one more character to make her way to the ring, and I think I know who that is. Samurai, one of the odds on favorites to win this thing, coming in at the 29th spot. He's going up over the top ropes and gets dumped with a choke slam. We have Dr. Pringles. We have the heel glitch hanging in there. The glitch has been deleted. Delete, delete, delete. Golden Slayer trying to eliminate Dr. Pringles. Uh oh. Oh, Dr. Pringles fights back somehow. We're down to the final three. One of these characters is walking away the new and first FedEx T Intercontinental Champion. Is it going to be Dr. Pringles? Is it going to be the Golden Slayer? Or is it going to be Nightmare Queen? Dr. Pringles trying to eliminate Nightmare Queen. And there's an elbow to the orbital socket of Dr. Pringles. Could have busted his eye up with that one. Golden Slayer, I think he's looking to eliminate Nightmare Queen. And she battles back. 
think the X factor here is he might be sitting on a finishing move because I don't think I've seen him use one. Oh, wait, no. He did eliminate somebody with a finishing move, but he's probably got another one by now. It's a two-on-one situation here. Nightmare Queen fighting with everything she's got. Dr. Pringles, he returns the elbow to the eye socket. He blocks the nail chop. Oh, waist lock takedown. Floats over. He's catching a breather here. Everybody looks exhausted and expended here. Oh, big knee to the jaw. Nightmare Queen with the Luthez press. Nightmare Queen sizing up Golden Slayer. Oh, the purge. Dr. Pringles. Seizing control at the right time. I don't think she was expecting that. Oh, and Dr. Pringles. Dr. Pringles. The Nightmare Queen is up. Oh, it's rake to the eyes. Rake to the eyes. I thought that was it for sure. Oh, and he pulls her into the Summer Crush. Oh, the Pringles KO out of nowhere. Let's take a look at that from another angle while these guys are regrouping here. I'm going to be late for my appointment. <laughs> That's okay. Though. All right. This is awesome. Who is going to win this thing? Who's going to get to their feet first? Crucial point in the match here. Golden Slayer and Dr. Pringles. And he floats with the wrestling hold around the waist lock. Takes him down. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Nightmare Queen is going up. Nightmare Queen is going down. Thanks for coming, Nightmare Queen. Oh, man. All the way to the floor. And Dr. Pringles and Golden Slayer are the only ones standing. Oh, super kick out of nowhere. Oh, and a big time splash. He almost flattened him into pedigree position. Full Nelson release suplex. Oh, and that's it. He didn't even hold on to the ropes. Dr. Pringles sidestepped. He goes careening over the top. Let's take a look at how that went down. Hard-fought victory from, from Golden Slayer and Dr. Pringles and Nightmare Queen. That was a tremendous exchange. Those two, or three, I should say, held on the longest. Golden Slayer winning his debut match and bringing home the Intercontinental Championship. It doesn't get... Much better than that, guys. The Intercontinental title will be defended regularly. So if you were not, you know, in the match, don't be disheartened or discouraged. We're going to be doing some number one contender tournaments. We're going to be having this title defended every other stream approximately. I'm not going to commit to that as a firm decision. But Golden Slayer, uh, it's, it's, it's go time, man. Which title are you going to choose? We're going to have you pick between the two. Hold on one second, guys. My front door popped open somehow. All right. Sorry about that. 
these dogs all came in my house and everything. I'm like, what the hell's going on here? Um, all right. So real quick, we're going to go look at those two titles. So, uh, Golden Slayer, you'll get to pick between the one on the left and the one on the right. What's it going to be, man? What is the Intercontinental title going to be? You guys don't don't time people out for no reason, please. The Fan International Championship. I was hoping you would say that. This is the one that I kind of was hoping you guys would pick. Um, so Golden Slayer, he chooses the title. Is now going to be defended on the show. Let me see if he has any uh any custom logos or something. We'll go fine tune this bad boy real quick. Actually, I don't, I don't think he does. But that's okay. Um, I'm gonna go change the name of the title right now. Championship. Oh wait, no, that's the tag team title. Whoops. What am I thinking here? Do, do, do. Hold on one second, guys. Let me make sure I'm spelling this correctly. T-E-N-E-N-T-T-E-N-E-N-T-I-L. The Fan XT Intercontinental Championship. Okay, it's official. Oh, wait, no. Okay, there's not enough letters for that, so... I'm just gonna abbreviate it. Alright, so I like that belt design. That one was cool. What I might do is uh hang on, let me let me do a little bit more tweaks to the belt here. Mm, no, I already said it's not gonna be defended on takeover. I already have too much stuff planned for takeover, so I apologize. Then I know what I'm going to do. We're going to turn that down. And we're going to make a game MLL colors. Let's 
More of like a lime green color. And then we're going to turn down the opacity on that so it's not so vibrant. Opacity 155. Here, let me write down these color numbers here. I don't know if you guys ever noticed the red, green, and blue scale numbers are posted there. 186, 24. Oh, wait, no, it should be a selectable color from the palette. That's the old way. What are you thinking, game? Get out of the past. Why is it why is it not showing up? Ah oh, yeah yeah, no wonder it was all Okay. Alright, that looks about right. Two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand, six, one thousand, seven, one thousand. I think about right there. Let's see how close I was. It's pretty close. Uh. <laughs> I'm like feeling around in the dark trying to put this thing in position here. Scoot it over a little bit. Hopefully. Nope. Not nearly enough. Ah. Okay, let's see if we hit the sweet spot. Too far. How did I guess? <laughs> this is frustrating. All right. Gosh darn it. <laughs> this is frustrating. Okay, hopefully that's it. Let's let's take one last look. That that dog will hunt. I'll go with that. All right, guys. Well, that's the new championship. Uh, those little side plates are going to change depending on who the champion is. So if you guys have like a logo for your character, it could appear on the title as, as long as he's equipped with the character. One last little little thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rescale this for one reason it's not because it's bad or anything I just don't like how it overlaps into the name bar but other than that it actually is fine let's have it stretched out a little bit there okay all right epic well guys that's gonna do it for fan XT I am pleased to announce that Golden Slayer is now the new Fan XT champion and yeah that should uh that should change once you hold the title. I don't know why it says gold E. I didn't even know you could write on there. Um So yeah, shout out to Remnant Elementor, he made that title. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's show. I want to give a quick apology to Bucky 501. He was scheduled to have a match today. I ran short on time. I'm supposed to be at the airport in 10 minutes. I got to get going. I pushed the show as long as I could, though, guys. Hope you guys tune in on Monday. We're going to be having Scrap Baby defend the Jump Scare Championship against Rockstar Chica. So don't miss that. I'm your boy, the game, MLL. Spike Tombstone the hell out of that like button. I'll see you guys in the comments section. And I will be replying to people uh, on Monday Night Mayhem all day The comment on the video. Okay? All right, guys. Have a good day. Look for the Twisted Ones tomorrow on Xbox. They're available right now on PlayStation. Cheers!